Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to day three of Vacation Bible School. We're here at Chincacoo Cove with our friends, Chewy, and remember his friends, Ruby and Pogo. And today, our new friend that we're going to talk about is Spider, the spider monkey named Wilder. We also had Bible points. In the first lesson, we talked about David and how David knows God knew that David would be the one chosen to be king. So our Bible point for the day was God knows you. Then yesterday, we continued with our story of David and how difficult it was for David to do what he was supposed to do. So he would pray to God. And so our Bible point was God hears you. Now, if you remember, Miss Johanna, we started out every day with a song about a treasure because the theme of our Bible school this year is how treasured we all are to God. We're discovering how priceless we are to God. And because we are, God knows us, God knows you, God hears us, and today we're going to be talking about how God comforts us or comforts you. So let's start out with our treasure song. Remember the words. I'll go over them one time and then we'll sing it. We are looking for a treasure. Can you help us find it? Is it over here? Is it over there? Wait, it's you and me. God says we're the treasure. So let's start and try singing it together. We are looking for a treasure. Can you help us find it? Is it over here? Is it over there? Wait, it's you and me. God says we're a treasure. So the important thing to remember, boys and girls, is that we're all treasures. Just like you have a treasure box, to keep things in that are really, really important. We're even more important than all of that stuff and all of those treasures. So as I said, we have Wilder the Spider Monkey, and you may have guessed that Kinkachu Cove is sort of almost like in a jungle. And in a jungle, real jungles, there are lots of places that look like empty temples. And so you see, we're surrounded here with all different kinds of writing that would have been done by many, many people who lived years ago. So if we take our little friend that you might have in your treasure box, of course, we have Wilder. On the bottom, the memory verse says, he comforts us. And that's our key word for today. He comforts us in all of our troubles so that we can comfort others. So if you can just remember like our key words, like God knows, God hears, and God comforts. Now, day one and day two, there was a really easy name that Miss Johanna talked about, and that was David. Well, this time our Bible story has a much more difficult name. And the man's name that we're going to talk about is Hezekiah. Can you say Hezekiah? That's really hard to say. Let's try saying it again. Hezekiah. Now, Hezekiah was a king, and he was the king of God's special people or friends called the Israelites. That's another really hard name to say. So let's say Israelites. The Israelites had some neighbors that weren't the best people or the friendliest. Hard word number three, they were called the Assyrians. Can you say that? The Assyrians. So we have three words, Hezekiah the king, who was the king of the Israelites, word number two, and Assyrians, who were the not so friendly neighbors. Now the not so friendly neighbors wanted to take the land away from the Israelites. And so the Israelites were afraid. And they had a city nearby called Jerusalem. 
and Jerusalem had a great big wall, almost as tall and taller than this temple behind me. So the Israelites ran into Jerusalem and they hid behind the wall. And if you look on your picture page for today, you can see that great big wall. Well, one day, one of the Assyrian leaders came to the wall and he yelled to the Israelites. He said, God's not going to protect you and you should just come out and come over to my side. This man, the Assyrian, said that his army would hurt them if they didn't come out. But King Hezekiah told his people, don't listen to him. He's just trying to bully you. He's just trying to make you afraid. Now, King Hezekiah knew that they, the Israelites, could not win a war over the Assyrians. But he also knew that if he went to God, God would help him. So King Hezekiah went to a special place in Jerusalem called the temple. And in the temple, there was a special man named Isaiah. And Isaiah wrote down Hezekiah's message to give and send to God in prayer. In return, God gave a comforting message back to Isaiah. Isaiah then called King Hezekiah and said, I want you to read this message. So King or Isaiah went to King Hezekiah and he opened a scroll and he said, this is what God said I'm supposed to tell you. Don't be afraid of the Assyrians because I, God, will protect you. I am going to make that bully leader of the Assyrians go back to his own country. Hezekiah felt so much better. And he rolled up his scroll and he said, I'm going to go and tell all the Israelites what God has told us he is going to do. Wait, though. Before the leader of the Assyrians left, Hezekiah yelled out to him. And you can see on your picture, Hezekiah is there. He said, God is going to protect us. So don't even think that you're going to harm us, even if we come outside of the wall. And so the Assyrian leader decided to go away, but he told Hezekiah he's going to be back. Well, would you believe that something happened, that the leader never did come back and try to fight the Israelites? The Assyrians didn't really understand how powerful God is. And God helped the Israelites to stay safe. And the Israelites thanked God for everything that he had done for him. Now, when the Israelites were behind the wall, that great big wall, they could not plant their crops. They couldn't get water. They couldn't get anything like that. So God sent a message again to Isaiah and told Isaiah to let Hezekiah know that it was safe to leave Jerusalem. They could go back to their land. And they were so happy. They planted crops. The crops grew. The people picked the crops. And they ate them. And their bellies were full. And they didn't worry anymore about the Assyrians coming. So our story word for today is comforts. So God comforted Hezekiah. Hezekiah comforted the Israelites. And all of them knew that God comforted them because they were God's treasured people. And so, boys and girls, we have to remember that just like David prayed and God heard him, Hezekiah and Isaiah and God all helped to comfort the Israelites at that time. So I know those were lots of really big names today, but even if you can just remember Hezekiah and how he went to God for comfort for all the Israelites. Now, we're going to make something really interesting today with our craft, and we are going to make, is it the butterfly or is it the rain stick? No, butterfly. 
butterfly. Mm -hmm. In your craft materials, Miss Donna has a box that looks like a butterfly. And she also included some gems, some markers, some pipe cleaners that you can glue on to make your box look like a decorated butterfly. And this could also sort of be another treasure box that you would have. And if you didn't notice already in your craft bag, there's also a little bottle of tacky glue. So that should help you out if you're having any trouble. And you can work at these anytime that you want to work at them. So we hope you're listening to the CD and we hope you're uh, listening and watching the videos and all our animal friends. And we will see you tomorrow in Vacation Bible School. Bye.